What's up, YouTube boys and girls? Welcome to the Jay Young channel. I'm your host, Jay Young. Starting, starting to like my little intros here. All right, so we got a cool video today, but I want to go over some things first. Got my, oh shit, indigestion like a bitch. Got my list right here. Uh, Patreon, new Patreon, Zach Berger. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon of mine. And anyone else, if you become a Patreon, I will give you a shout out on the channel, video slash whatever, to you know show some recognition and appreciation for your Patreonism. Does Patreonism work? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? So yes, thank you for that. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you go to Amazon or the link in the description. Click on any one of the tool links in the description and that'll bring you to Amazon. You do not have to buy that tool. Just go shopping like you normally would after you use that link. And from the time you click on that link for the next 24 hours, anything you purchase, I will get a commission on. So that really helps me and the channel. So just go down, click one of the links and then go to the search, Amazon search and search like you normally would. That is very, very helpful. Thank you so much. Uh, we've been killing it lately. Now next, I want to give a big shout out to Coon Trucking. If you guys don't know who Coon is, very awesome guy. He's always out there. Hands always out to help people. Uh, he's, in my opinion, like another Ken the Long guy. Really nice, nice, genuine guy. His channel's awesome. It's growing like a bat out of hell. Make sure you watch it. Let's put it this way. Coon is so nice, he will teach you how to fix your trucks so you can go and make a YouTube video like you know how to fix it. Let's see if you can figure out who did that. But yeah, that's how nice Coon is. He will teach you how to fix something so you can go and make a YouTube video and act like you knew how to fix it. Think about it. Anyways, moving right along. So today's video is, uh, which is better, snap-on or gear wrench? All right, here I have a gear wrench, swivel head ratchet, and a 20 millimeter gear wrench socket. Here, I have a snap-on flex head. I said swivel head, flex head, with a snap-on socket. This is actually snap-on smallest 3.8 socket too, by the way, which is quarter inch, well, smallest standard socket. Pretty, uh, I like having these little sockets for 3.8s. But which one is better? Motherfucker snap-on's better, that's for certain. But, but, I'm just saying, like, you know, smoothness and ratcheting and tooth count, because, well, but, okay, hang on. Gear Wrench 2 also has a finer tooth ratchet. It's the XP120 or something like something like that. I had to switch real quick, I had to switch real quick. Anyways, between these two, they both have their pros and cons. The thing I do like about the Gear Wrench is the Gear Wrench hasn't worn out. Like this thing still holds. It's, you know what I mean? The, the, the flexi heady thingy, it's still hard, it still holds. Snap on, yeah. Just like, uh, you know, I tighten it and just, you know. I mean, it's not as bad as like, say some of the Harbor Freights where they just completely flop. This still holds its position, you know what I mean? Like it'll still hold. It's just this sucker's tight and it stays pretty tight. So I do like that. Uh, obviously this is comfort grip. The snap-on is comfort grip, so it's about a good three inch, two inches longer. I mean, it's whatever, because then the snap-on regular one isn't, but whatever, that's here nor there. They're just different ratchets. It's just difference between gear wrench and snap-on. Is gear wrench worth it? Yeah, absolutely, all day long, you know what I mean? Even the socket isn't bad, you know, like, looks decent. I've actually never used it. It's a 20 millimeter 3.8, never once used it. But it looks decent. I can sit here and tell you it works good, but I don't know, what do I know? I don't know a fucking thing about gear wrench sockets other than it says gear wrench and they didn't center the number. Maybe that was on purpose for like, or something. We do own a, I do own a few gear wrench tools and I'm actually very, very happy with gear wrench products. Are they super comparable to Snap-on? Nah, not so much. Snap-on just has that feel, that wow, that, 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 I just got fucked in the ass. $130 for a ratchet. This more ratchet might actually be more than that, but you just get that I got fucked real hard feeling. Sometimes it feels good, sometimes it feels good. One thing I will say about these two ratchets where they differ, and I know you can get this in Snap-on, but the push button, the socket release. Sometimes I really love that and sometimes I hate it. I love it when I'm doing tensioners and I hate it when I just, I gotta get the socket off or whatever, pull it off and I just can't get it. Or if your hands are greasy, it doesn't come off. That's when I like that little push button. So I'm, I'm either motherfucking it if it's there and I'm motherfucking it if it's not there. So it's, I mean, it's probably better to get it with it because I always, 
need it and not have it than have it and not need it, I guess you'd say, something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I, think, I think it's better off to have the button, if I had to say. Get the button! Make sure you get the fucking button. So yeah, get the one with the button. That's all I got. The only reason why I made this video is because I've been using the two. Like if I leave one out or somewhere in a car, I gotta go grab the other one. And so I was like, you know what? I wanna do a video, because I use both of them equally anymore. So I just wanna do a video on both of them. See, you know, see whatever you guys think. You guys both use uh, uh, gear wrench and snap-on or, or what? You know, if you do, leave it in the comments below. I know, again, shitty video. Get used to it. It's what I do and what I do the best. Anyways, so if you wanna watch my last video, click here. Fuck, I don't even know where to point anymore. And if you want to subscribe, click here. Oh, check out Coon's channel too. I'll put it right here.